Hey everybody, Theta here, back in with the Stone Face Reactions. Magic Knight Ray Earth. We just got finished the last episode where we met a giant blue dragon that turned out to be, I guess, a robot, is what they said. Uh, you know what, while we're doing the intro here, I'm gonna go ahead and just to listen to the music. Like you'll hear me talking about the Borg. And I don't think I'm happy with this redesign either. But given that I'm so far ahead of the releases here, that no one's really giving me any way in. And being out I'm on my own on this. Yeah. But we got all the uh, pets all lined up here. Technically nobody defeated Ducey, but the medicine? Well, I guess I could. Huh. I'm just realizing. I guess I could say Alcio and defeat a Ducey, sort of. But I'll have to figure out how to cross those lines. That's what I'm saying. There's so many line crossings here that I'm just doing this badly. Uh, but yeah, you have uh, all the ones that uh, who is uh, Dr. Umi has uh, killed, which is Alcio. You have the ones Hikaru here is taking care of. Uh, Adelante, Vigor, Golem. And the one that Fu had to level up on, Pajaro. Otherwise, everything else is still fairly connected. Just not as well as I'd hoped it would be. I'm gonna spend more time on it. I'm gonna figure it out by the end of the show. That's what's gonna happen. If there was any chittering there, I apologize, I had realized I was watching it in uh, dub, and I obviously only watch things in sub, so it took a quick course correction there. This episode's already been weird for me, because I've never heard their English uh, voices before, and it really threw me off. I'm like, what's going on? If there are two other giant robots, one for the other two, then I guess that would also mean that their armor is going to get bigger and buffer as well. Oh man, Fran Drescher left. Yeah, I think it's in the background of the overlay, right above the H and Knight. Finally make his appearance no. And talking more than he's ever talked. This already feels like one of those, um... So I was waiting to see if he talked. This already feels like one of those, But you didn't actually see them die, did you? Not per se. So Emerald saved them. Yep.
Yeah, oddly, he is actually projecting himself down there. He's not there. Look, I am not putting just one off appearance monsters on the board. You can write that crap off. Golem got a whole episode. He's a special case. And I understand this is just a badass moment for Firo. Look, I killed four monsters before my bag hit the ground. Otherwise, the first time we were in the Forest of Silence, there's a bunch of monsters. I'm sorry, but even in a... Even in a show like this, I would just assume it was, it was a trap. I mean, we know it's not a trap, I'm just saying. I feel like I've forgotten his backstory. He was like a thief before, right? Because he clearly got in trouble for trying to rob Emerald of the walkie talkies, as it turns out. I'm saying if this place was so peaceful before, why does that have a badass swordsman? Careful now. You don't like Umi when she is awake. こんだけ武器溜め込んどいてザガート様に反逆の意思なしやて。本当です。この武器は魔物退治をするためのものでザガート様に反逆など。そないな言い訳は通用せえへんで。しかし。けどな、我心あれば水がかりえ。Is this our new Alcyon replacement? あいつら殺したらザガート様には黙っといたろ。あいつら。あそこ歩いてる3人のお嬢様方や。え。できません。マスマクだ。そう。タイヤディジー。たとえ村を救うためでも人殺しはできません。武器を殺したな。Is he the ancient girl Chango or is he gonna die? Jingo Jango. When I say that, by the way, what I'm talking about is uh, One Piece. Oh no, I called that wrong. It's a character of One Piece. He says Jingo Jango hypnotizes you. You think you can do anything? Oh, 
So do the bad guys also have a thing for Ascot? In that, you know, he's a kid, gotta protect a kid. Every... Clearly Alcyon doesn't. This new person does, though. Yep, see, obviously. We just found the blue one. You gotta find the red one and the green one, too. セフィーロに古くから伝わる伝説だよ。マシンは3体あるってことだ。で、なたよみがえらせたんだ。一体だけだ。まだ1体か。冗談じゃないわよ。あと2体も探せって言うの?その前にザガートに殺されちゃうわ
Boom. I also just appreciate how much that sounds like. I love you, fool. Also, didn't I order those people to kill you? Well, the same trick I pulled on Ascot. I'm sure it'll work on you. You're not a child. ワイルドで丸め込もう思っても、そうはいかんで。ワイルドなんてとんでもございません。待ち時間のお慰めに賭けでもなさらないかと。後悔すんで。うちは金かかった賭けは無茶っていうんや。はい。I so far at least she's the most interesting because she's not like I'm about to say about that one thing, but it sounds weird. Any enemy you can play a game with, I'm a little bit more down for. So it does look like he's lost pretty hard. Props for shuffling in those super thick gloves, though. So, five card draw then. And she didn't even have to switch cards. Though she's magic, apparently, so. Cheating, I imagine. Also, in the wide shot, he only had one stack of coins. And all he's done is lost, and yet he has more coins now than we started. Assuming it has the same kind of rules as five card draw. The only way to go is to make a hand she can't cheat her way out of, like four of a kind. That she just do a better hand than four of a kind. I don't know, there's no way to cheat magic. There's no way to cheat against cheating magic. She is so disbelieving this, the mouth hanging open and everything. Why does she seem like, oh no, I'm in trouble? I'm... I'm one, is she really with Sagato? Because I think she's lying. I feel like she's lying. I don't know why a minion of Zagato would be like, oh no, I killed a man, or I got a man killed. I 
ことあったのええー、かスコットもうすぐうちがあいつら倒してあんたが堂々城へ戻れるようにしたるさかいな僕はうんあかんかんあんたみたいな才能ある子がこんなことでくすぐっとったらん See, I like that. That's specifically the character interaction. I did like that too, but I like that we're getting like we are getting interactions with the bad guy side. I like that they're humanized, or you know, they're people too. And now to wander, wonder about Furio. You don't have to worry about him. You're the only one with foes in this world. That's cute. I like that. Absolutely. I was like, it's the way you came, unless the camera rotated. That was a cute episode. I like that. I mean, the danger part was like, meh. I mean, I feel like even Ascot lesser monsters or underpowered Alcyon was more of a threat than that was. And I understand the threat was to the people who weren't the knights and the town. But I appreciate that for all the interwoven character relationship that's Fu and Furio, uh, Ascot, and oh, I've already forgotten her name. The new gambling lady. God, there's something about this ending song that reminds me also of Change the World. I think I've said this already, which I think uh, turned out to be from uh, Inuyasha. Oh, who's going to be in it? If I'm going to think that it's only going to be the main characters with a one fourth random chance to be anybody else. I'm going with Hikaru. Hikaru this time. Yeah, I think my guess is right on how the wheel works. Twelve episodes, but I figured it out. No, no, my, I'm questioning now. Caldinia is the person we just met now. In an episode not named after her. So, I almost feel like next episode, we're going to get the lore on the... Um, on the knights or whatever, whatever this episode was named after, because that feels like a weird separation of name and episode uh, thing. It's really throwing me off. Um, yeah, no, what I said was I really like the relationship uh, mixing. Uh, Zagato has that other guy in the white clothing 
who was apparently tied to him all the time, is handling his interpersonal relationships when he's apparently not talking to anybody. Uh, then they have sort of a Rita Repulsa Monster of the Week relationship with Alcyone when she was alive. Alcyone then manipulated Ascot, but then we also have Caldania here, who is apparently treating Ascot like the uh, boy genius that he is. And uh, Zagato gave is giving Ascot chance after chance after chance of leaving Key, seems to regard the kid with some measure of, I don't know, I don't know if he's, I don't know where I'm looking for here is, some measure of slack, because he's a kid maybe, but also want to see him do well, I don't know what Zagato was coming at from here, but he's giving more of a chance than Alcyon ever got. Maybe it's that not knowing how Zagato treats people is why I don't understand why Kedania seemed to be fearful of the fact that it might get out that she hurt somebody. Because obviously she's hanging out with Ascot, which means that she must work for Zagato. Unless... Unless she is to what the bad guy side that Firo is to the good guy side, which is unconnected, sort of, or tangentially connected. I don't know. I think maybe this is just something that's going to come out in the next episode. So I think we'll just wait till then, pick it up again next episode, and see what we figure out there. Till then, I've been Theta. Once again, another Stone Face Reactions, watching Magic Knight Ray Earth, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?